everybody, I did it. I made it to Nashville, and I met a famous guy, Mr. Phil Peterson. Hey, John. Peterson Farms of Nashville. Welcome. Right? Welcome to Nashville, not thank Tennessee. You. Not Tennessee. <laughs> this, you have a beautiful place here. Well, thank you very it's, much. It's we'll a lot of it. fun. I got the tour of your tractor and everything, yeah. and Bailey has given me the tour. You guys have seen Bailey and Sophia on some of the videos. Hey, if you hey, watch hey. his... If you watch his yeah. stuff. You oh my goodness. Just, goodness. You can have four or five or six. Ritterbit gold. You can have any stickers. I don't. Oh wow. I Look at this, even, Ed. You're like the first you're the first kids to get stickers from me because I haven't had these very long. So oh, wow. you can stick those on anything you want, okay? That's special. <laughs> Oh man, oh man! Oh, you look good on that, John. Well, thank you. This is a real nice tractor you, you want, have. You want to take that to home with and, you? I had to come and see it. <laughs> sure he puts his phone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, does he watch YouTube on his tractor? Yeah. Because I do all the time. I watch YouTube on my tractor. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes I even watch what I'm doing. This is pretty nice. Do you yeah. get to drive this too? Yeah. How about go on there? That when you put the camera down here? No, yeah. no, I'll sit down there. Oh, you sit there. down there. Oh, that's probably a good spot for you, isn't it? No, it's not supposed to. I drive. Well, John, definitely appreciate you stopping by. Oh, it, it's been my pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure to meet it's you. It's really nice to meet Thank you. you. I, I wish your channel all the, all the success in the world. This well, you've been a big part of it. I learned a lot from you. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, especially that. Especially your modesty and your family life. And, and that's what just, I like about just, yours. Uh, just what you do for your channel. So. Well, I appreciate that a lot. We'd like to give you a little special gift yeah. for the road and the family. Yeah. And yeah. Hopefully yeah. you don't get too hungry on the way. The, 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 but, uh, the watermelon. There you go. Look at that. The Peterson Farms of Nashville. Look how big that watermelon, watermelon is. is. <laughs> I hold it up real far. This has got to be bigger than the Oh, you can't even fit it, it in the camera, it's can huge. you? It's It's just ginormous. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> anyway, thank you, buddy. Really enjoyed you stopping by, and and uh, we wish you the best, you and your family. Well, thank you very much. All right, you just surpassed a thousand subscribers. Yeah, and uh, and YouTube's kind of a fun little fun yeah. little thing to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, we got a great community. It pays well. <laughs> it pays well. You're now you're now monetized. Uh, yeah, so. you don't do it for the money, do you? <laughs> no, you certainly don't. It's fun. We have a lot Absolutely. of fun with it. Yeah, but Phil really has a great channel, you guys. Uh, he, he does a lot of family content, and he mixes in a lot of different, you know, tractor content, at-home, uh, do-it-yourself, how-to yeah. videos. Um, you even do some target practice videos, oh, yeah. chainsaw work. Yep. And what else? Did I cover it, or am I missing anything? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Might catch me in a deer stand every once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> deer hunter as well. Yeah. yeah, so he's got a really good channel. I'd please go over to his channel and subscribe. Peterson, Farmer Nashville. That's right. Yeah, Nashville, Indiana. Indiana. Not Tennessee. <laughs> Not Tennessee. <laughs> That's a, yeah, it's, joke. It, it's been a pleasure meeting hey, you. And, no, and we're going to get a, we're gonna get a stopping tour. by. We're going to get a tour around the farm. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this place. And, and then right. I got to hit the road. I got to get back to Minnesota because I was at the Equip Expo. You got to go to that next uh, year. I'm planning it, on it. It'll be fun. It's on my calendar now. All right, great. I'll see you again next All year. Right. All right, you guys. Keep on tractoring. God bless. Yeah, God bless you. Look at this view. This is Peterson Farm of Nashville. And it is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Incredible. You got quite a place here, Phil. Oh, thank you. you quite a place. Yeah. My goodness. What a neat, what a neat tour I'm getting. We are blessed. Well, everybody, I am at another YouTuber's place, and if you don't know who this guy is, this is Jason, from, and he's got a channel. Tell everyone about your yeah, channel, Yeah, so the channel's called Hoosier Helpers. Originally, we started off doing a lot of nonprofit stuff. It was, it was we were going to nonprofit organizations that couldn't afford to have landscaping services done, and the channel's really grown past that. Yeah. We still do quite a bit of that, we try, um, but, focusing mainly on mostly homeowner stuff and then uh, 
a lot of deer food plots and stuff like that. So I, I've really enjoyed your channel. Sometimes you get your kids involved, and yep. you're always up to you're always doing something with the tractor, yeah, for sure. helping other people. And then you've got different projects going on as well that you feature on your channel. So yep. it's not always just tractor stuff. You've got uh, a well, variety we got the, of things. Yeah, we got cooking with Jason, which cooking with Jason. Those, those episodes don't do very well, but uh, I right. used to do them quite a bit. I haven't done one in a while, and yeah. then. But it's mostly tractor stuff, gardening, things like that. I do feature the the G eighteen hundred quite a bit. My old Kubota. It's it's my mowing tractor. And this fall, when the leaves start to fall, I got a new toy to to add to the mix. The I, Agrifab. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna suck up leaves <laughs> in the, the neighborhood. So I've got several neighbors here that are interested in having leaves removed you're, from their yard and you're gonna have fun with that because yeah, yeah. uh, you know we're in we're in peoria illinois or yeah. we're, that's what town are we in uh, we're actually in germantown hills Ger germantown which, hills which is close to yeah it's just yeah. outside of peoria and the the trees around here are in full color right now yep. it is just this is a beautiful area you're gonna have a lot of leaves to vacuum up here uh, i mean you saw the the <laughs> giant oak trees across the street yeah. yeah we get everybody's leaves here so it's, it's a beautiful neighborhood you have yeah. and what do you got to get a third no two-thirds of an acre uh two-thirds of an acre two here an acre. and so then, yeah, just a little bit more than me yep. and he was able to justify getting a bx the the what do we the, the 1800 yeah the g1800 yeah. Yep. and and you've got some toys stuffed yep. under your deck in the yeah, back I've of got the a air. box blade tiller uh <laughs> middle or not a middle buster but a subsoiler yeah. a harrow if you haven't seen the harrow video he has a great video how to and you built it yourself yep yeah you got some welding skills yep. and some fabrication skills sure. and well i'm a farm boy you're a farm boy so yeah. you know how we to had do to do it all yeah, yeah. So. Now we're going to show you the harrow that Jason built. He's pretty proud of this, and he should be because it is a nice looking product. So, yeah. so this is like a oh, probably a 1950s harrow. I bought it, bought it from a local farmer for 25 bucks for the harrow, and then the steel bar that actually connect the two harrows. I actually bought. I have a second one, but I took it all apart. I built the framework to carry it, and. Um, works pretty good as far as using your three point to lift up when you come to an end of the field drop it back down then it drags with chains and use it for deer food plots it's an excellent way to incorporate seed also when you're doing yards and tilling yards up it's a good way to level the ground before you start planting the grass seed and then once you get the grass seed down scratch it in a little bit it helps cover up some of those seeds and and uh does a nice job with that so another good product if you got a bx or another subcompact that you can you can start utilizing it for other things than just loader work so <laughs> but go check out jason's channel it's called who's your helpers i think you guys would really enjoy it so i'm going to get some footage around the around your property and sure. uh, we're going to have a good time so thanks for yep it was nice to meet you oh and i, I got finally. one thing for you Hold you on. got one thing for me yeah. oh we got something this for me this is official yeah. caterpillar merchandise official caterpillar merchandise you can't buy this built to built to be rebuilt <laughs> that is our current that's what i'm working on all right how do we rebuild caterpillar machines oh how okay do we get machines to be rebuilt you work Same. for caterpillar here yep. yeah, i work for cat all right well thank you that's so, a nice that's yeah. a nice uh sweater there isn't it yep. zip up well, yeah so appreciate anyway. that yep all right thanks a lot i yep. think I, I, I might have something for you too all so. right <laughs> sounds good all right Whatever it can we'll do we'll go right under my clutter garage there we go. One more sticker added to the wall. So you want to talk about the modifications to the tractor? Yeah, I want to see modifications. What have you done for you, to your tractor to customize it for to make your it, use? To make it more usable, <laughs> actually. So first of all, these tires got fluid in them. They've got yeah. windshield washer fluid. Uh, I used my little spring pump. I bought an adapter. Obviously, I put the metal valve stems in. If anybody's looking to do that, that would be highly encouraged. I see so many posts about guys puking or beet juice out. Okay. Um, 50 pound bowl and wheel weights as well. I just put those on. You can see my paint wasn't quite dry when I, I was throwing it on. Um, hydraulic top link. John, you gotta get one of these. I do have to get one of those. It's, I, it's in it, the future plans. It, it will change your life, especially loading and unloading off trailers. Yeah. You can lift that implement way high. You're higher, not getting into it. Get some better clearance. Sure. got pats uh the pat system on here i don't like the the quick hitches per se because my implements range from 24 inches pin the pin all the way out to uh, like 30 inches so this gives me that flexibility 
to cover all my implements without having to change things out. Rear remote kit. So uh, highly encourage that. You watch Mike Bipperlow, right? I do. Mike just put yeah. this on his tractor. This equipment. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great channel to watch as well. And this has changed my life. It, look at the way the remotes come through here. Okay. How, how you have levers right up there filling in that hole that yeah. everybody has. I know, look at this. Yeah, yeah look at that. Because there's, I, I don't have anything in that slot no. in my tractor. And I feel like I have to put something there to complete the complete the package. Yeah, it's it's not yeah. complete. <laughs> so definitely something to look into. Yeah, I do, I gotta get the remotes, but the issue is I have the cab and it's just gonna be a matter of, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to do some modifications. It's gonna need to be a little bit different. So. And maybe I just not need to bend the hoses a little bit more and I'll have to figure it out because it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So sure. that's coming to the channel sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And then other than that, I built a receiver hitch for this. I didn't okay. like what they had, so I built that up really quick. All right. I priced it from Kubota and it was outside of my price range. I think mm -hmm. it was 250 bucks for their okay. hold on. Am so. I seeing an electrical? Oh yeah, I got, uh, I've got a trailer plug yeah, here. Like seven pin. Yeah. Yep. And what I use that for is when I do Halloween parades or Halloween trick or treating with the trailer, I yeah. we do hay rack rides. That way I can light up my trailer lights. And well, put let's on go. Flashers. Let's go look at your project that you're All getting started right, on. Yeah. I know you're not too far away, but you're out in your driveway. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have noticed already, but we've got the uh, we've got the saw out here and the we got threes, and you're doing something over there, aren't you, Jason? Yeah, we are decorating the trailer this has been a yearly tradition now we did okay. it two years ago last year we did it again this year i'm going all out i'm building a house on the trailer building a house on the trailer yeah and it's going to be a haunted house my girls are going to be witches <laughs> and it's going to be their witch's house i'm hoping to find a fog machine i just don't know how to power it all oh sure yeah. so yeah. but uh yeah so they're we're going to build it. a house i've got cardboard cut out well you want to show <laughs> the cardboard yeah, so me, I spent you had a good, he was hours. showing me the idea that he has for this uh, haunted house on a trailer. There's hours of work here, so just cutting out like six siding. inch, yep, lap <laughs> siding. <laughs> so it will be just like regular siding, it's and it'll be painted. Good. Yep. And that's going to be on here. Are you going to make a video and put yep. it on your channel? Yep, I'm going to put a Halloween. video for how our Halloween special. Yeah, get the so, kids on it maybe? Yep, yep, All right, that, that'll sure. be awesome. So, so there you go, guys. Uh, just a bunch of different things that you can find on Jason's channel. Who's your helpers it is. Check it out. It's been a lot of fun seeing all of your stuff here. And uh, and I guess I gotta get back on the road. I gotta get home eventually. Yeah, so it's <laughs> been a whirlwind of an excitement. Right? Yeah, we did the Equip Expo. Uh, I saw Phil Peterson from Peterson Farm in Nashville. Stopped here to see Jason. And now it's time to put some miles on the road. So you guys take care. Until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless. Okay, we've got just enough time to make one last stop on our way home. Uh, we've got to see Phil from Peterson Farm in Nashville. We've got to see Jason from Hoosier Helpers. And we've got, we're have got we going to make one more stop. And uh, we're going to go see some fans who have been extremely supportive of this channel ever since I began this crazy YouTube journey. And uh, they're, like, they're like my biggest fans. And I uh, just love these people to death. So you're going to see who that is shortly here and then we'll then we'll close out this video here's my favorite youtube friends <laughs> oh i missed you daddy you <laughs> how are you <laughs> here you go oh i was just telling everybody i got one last stop to go see my favorite youtube friends who've been supportive of the channel since we started Be give me kisses love you Give me a kiss. Ah. I missed you. <laughs> I lost the tooth. Oh my goodness. Hope you find it. <laughs> and I do wiggly. Can we close off this video? Keep, Keep on, on tracking and, and God bless. bless. Look what I got. <laughs> it's long. That's, that's from Phil. Holy moly. <laughs> from Phil and Tammy, from Everyone. Bailey and Sophia. <laughs> it's a big one. Can we eat it all? <laughs> the big one. All right. Don't worry, tractor. I missed you too. Here's the tractor. Mwah.